Hello guys, in this video, I will be explaining you all the important 5 mark questions for computer science second PUC students. Let's start with this thing. So from, from the chapter basic concepts of OOPS, uh, we have this following 4 questions, very very important. Uh, so you can see here, first question explain the applications of OOPS. It has been repeated 2 times in your annual examination, that is June 2015, then March 2017. Then second question, explain the advantages of OOPS. And then we have define object oriented programming, write the limitations or disadvantages of OOPS. So this question also were repeated in March 2017. Fine, last question from this particular chapter is write the difference between object oriented programming and procedural oriented programming. This question has been appeared in your June 2017 supplementary question supplementary question paper okay fine uh, from the chapter class and objects we have the following questions following six questions so first question we have is give the general syntax for class definition and object and then we have what is class definition right its general syntax and example this question has been appeared two times in the annual examination uh, so see guys one important thing is that so regarding this particular chapter class and objects i have made a separate video where I have been, where I have explained uh, the answers also. So please do watch this particular lessons. It will be helpful for you guys. Okay. And then see the, the third question we have is explain defining object of a class with syntax and a programming example. Fourth question: What is axis specifier? Explain any two type two with examples. And fifth question: Explain member function inside the class definition with an example. And last question from this particular chapter is explain member function outside the class definition with an example so all these questions i have been discussed regarding this particular questions answer in separate video please do watch that particular video and then we have third chapter in computing in c plus plus that is function overloading and member functions in this particular chapter also we will get five marks on question so we have totally six questions from this particular uh, uh, chapter please go through this slide and uh, then constructors and destructors again this particular chapter is in computing in c++ uh, you, you will expect two marks one question and five marks one question in this particular chapter so totally seven marks you will get uh, so these were the following five questions we have in this chapter that is what is a constructor give the rules for writing constructor function all these questions were very very important for your annual examinations okay uh, so i have a uh, arrange this particular thing by going through all the previous year question papers okay fine do watch this part do watch this particular video and the second part also will be there fine then we have inheritance chapter from this chapter also we will we can expect a five more question uh, so here are the five questions that were very important from the chapter inheritance and next we have boolean algebra when it comes to boolean algebra you can check all the previous year question papers every year they have asked a question on this particular k map problem okay k map that is sum of products okay uh, do practice this particular uh, uh, k map problems there are uh, i have sorted out all the you know, k map problems that were occurred in your uh, previous year question papers fine and then also we have one one different question we have a state and pro demagans theorem and then we have data structures when it comes to data structures from this chapter we will get 14 marks guys very very important and regarding this thing uh, we have like again in this particular chapter is divided into uh, uh, 5 marks 2 questions will be there and then 3 marks 1 question and 1 marks 1 question we can expect from this particular chapter as per your blueprint uh, so you can go through this particular slide uh, then this were you can go through the slides and read out the questions and practice well, very well regarding this particular questions okay and then i will be doing a next uh, video in that particular video i will be explaining rest all the questions as per your blueprint uh, that may that were very important for your examination okay only five marks questions i am going to discuss in the coming video that is part two i will be providing you the link in the description section okay guys thanks for watching this particular video have a great day thank you